What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is Zer Day, and Zer is located on Nessus. And he is by the Watcher's Grave, in this area up here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Colony. It is an exotic grenade launcher. Then we have Mask of the Quiet one for the Titan, Luna Faction Boots for the Warlock, as well as Shinobu's Vow for the Hunter. We're going to go ahead and start with the Colony. Intended perk on this is Insectoid Robot Grenades, which this weapon's grenades are Insectoid Robots that chase targets and explode close to them. Then we have Linear Compensator, High Velocity Rounds, Serve the Colony, which Insectoid Robot Grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the Colony is unequipped. And then we have Composite Stock. It also does have a Catalyst. And then it also has three ornaments. Viced Silver is one of them. Then we have Sneak Attack, as well as the Colony XZ812. Now, I actually think this probably one looks the best, but to each his own. So, this exotic is, isn't really bad in PvE, uh, but it is a lot better in PvP. So with that said, this will get a tier 2.5 in PvE, but it will definitely get a tier 2 in PvP. If you guys don't know the tier skill, I will put it down in the description box below. Next, we have the Mask of the Quiet one. And trend to perk on this is uh, Dreaded Vasige, which grants ability energy when you're damaged, when crit critically <laughs> wounded, regain uh, maximum health on kills. Now this is a definitely really, really good exotic to have. Um, if you are a Titan, definitely go ahead and pick this up, especially given the fact that it does have a plus 12 in strength. So it's definitely a good exotic to have in PvE as well as PvP, and it will get a tier 2 in both. Next, we have the Lunin Faction Boots. Trend to perk on this is Alchemal Etchings, which your rift grant uh, your rifts gain the additional ability to increase weapon reload speeds, and powering rift makes weapon effective over longer ranges. Now this was a little bit better prior to Shadow Keep. Um, it's ah, uh, I don't know. It's it's still a good exotic, but I really do feel like it was a lot better in Shadow Keep, given the fact that it didn't give you you know reload speed, which in fact it actually made you auto reload like instantly. But it still has its usefulnesses. Uh, this is definitely better in PvE than it is PvP. So with that said, it will get a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE, but probably a tier 3 to 3.5 in PvP. Next, and the final exotic armor is the Shinobu's Vow. And the intended perk on this is Nutrix, which improves skip grenades, and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. Skip grenade returns energy when it damages enemies. Now, go ahead and grab this. This is an amazing Shinobu's Vow, especially since it has a plus 16 on discipline. I'm actually gonna grab one myself. If you guys do not have this, definitely get one. It is definitely a tier two in PVE as well as PVP. Next, we have your consumables, which is your five of swords, which is your Nightfall Challenge card, as well as your invitation to the nine which I still haven't done this and I probably will never. And then last but not least, we have your exotic engram. So let's go ahead and see what we get this week for this exotic. Capri Stain, yay. So real quick, before you actually do pop this exotic engram, go ahead and buy these if you do not already have them because you do have a chance to get these inside your exotic engram. If you have not been playing Destiny 2 for a while and you don't have any new exotics that do drop normally. 
And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.